Hi, I'm Eddie Grant, and I've brought you today to my village to show you around a little bit. Welcome to Plaisance. This is the place where I was born, and I'm supposed to be speaking to a guy named Radomir that's uh, supposed to be doing an interview with me here. Oh! He's late. <laughs> oh, oh, I can no, hear him. Hang on. I'm late? Good morning. You uh, came with this plane, right? Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, the plane was late, so yeah. it, it wasn't me. You're talking about me as a late guy? You're late. No, I'm not late. You're uh, late. No, I'm, I've been I, waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting for your new album for six years. So it's a uh, it's a really really long long time uh, before. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm sorry. I apologize. Six years. But I hope that you're going to love this album. It's called Pleasance, after the name of my village. Yes, mm. you can interview now. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you took my words. Anyway, uh, the title of the album is uh, Pleasance. Yes. Shall we walk a bit? Sure. Uh, Good morning. The name Pleasance means to you a lot. Yes. And uh, you're heading back to your, your roots. I yes. mean, in some ways, in creative ways. This is my route. And uh, how many songs do you have? In, uh, I mean, usual questions. How many songs do you have uh, on the album? The album has 14 songs mm -hmm. because you had to wait for six years. I mean, yeah, I could yeah. have made it 10 or 9 like everybody else, yeah. but it's got 14. Uh, two songs per year. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not it's bad. Not, bad. not bad. At least I didn't dry up. You know, at least I, I didn't suffer from writer's block. Uh, yeah, you're, you know? you're well, you're well, he's still <laughs> producing. Still producing good some, water. Sweet water. Yes. Uh, 14, 14 tracks, 14, 14 songs. Yeah. Uh, you told me anyway, I don't want to act. Uh, you told me that you, you, you made a number of songs, maybe 30, 40 songs. And you, 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 you just uh, chose. Uh, yeah, this, this album has is, is, is been a long time in coming because obviously the songs have to live in, in a certain kind of way. It's like, a, it's like sort of the story of a part of my life, mm. very important story. And uh, I'm trying to share it with the people, the people who love me and the people who don't, well, maybe the people who love me will get them to understand me uh, a little bit. I'm sure that Madonna fans will, will, will buy your record. <laughs> no, maybe Madonna will. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, she'll sure, sure get it free. Yes. Uh, some of the songs uh, uh, re recalls your, your childhood, your, 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 your very early time. As, as I know, you, you spent, you were born here and you spent maybe six, seven, eight years or whatever I, I, I spent, before you moved to London. I spent up until the age of 12. Uh -huh. And that in this village is your, your grown man at, at that time. Today, a child at 40 is still a child, you know. In my time, coming out of this village, by the time you're 12, you can be going to work, you could be, you know, anything. So, girls, I left. girls as well. Oh, no, I, ah. I, I was never really interested in that. Look into my eyes. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know, I know. Uh, He's telling the truth. Uh, no. But, but well, well, I, I just want to remind you of the song uh, "True to You." It's it's about the girl. It's is it your imagination or it's, it was uh, you know the girl that uh, still is living somewhere? No, it it is really imaginative, um, but it, it it incorporates again the village. It, it talks about my country. It talks about my region, and it's uh, it's it's fun. It it it. There must be fun. I you know, am. I'm not always serious writing about the front line. And hi, how are you going? Okay, hi, good man. It, it, not always writing about you know very serious things, but I mean, this uh, this is a part of the story. How are you going, my son? Good morning. Good morning. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much. I enjoy your music over the years. Thank you very much. Nice. All right, my brother. Yeah, my Good. Respect. All right. I was surprised. And the next spot where we continue filming uh, is a very old theater. Oh, It's yeah. very old. It, it means that 50, 60 years ago, you you had the theater here. Oh, and you more. Playing movies and uh, and uh, socializing and uh, or whatever. Maybe, maybe, was... maybe e e even theater lacks. It, we have a lot of theaters in Guyana. I mean, but this this particular theater was there for a long, long time. I mean, if I'm in my 60s now, 
I came and found that there already, so it must be nearly a hundred years old. Oh. You know, the, 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 the community, we have many churches, we have places that the young people could uh, exercise their imagination. Are you, were you allowed to, to, to bring the fruits in the theater? You were allowed to do whatever you want in the theater. <laughs> Let's go to the theater. So, yeah, okay. okay. So this is the old theater yeah. where you went to see a movie with your friends and your girlfriends. No, I ah. couldn't afford to come to the cinema. Why? Because our family was very poor. And uh, remember also that uh, the cinema was a place where everybody went who could afford, you know, and mostly the big people. Guys like me had to wait until my uncle wants to take me there or my aunt wants to take me there or so, you know, because I'm 8, 10, 11, 12, you know, this, th that is my, the time that this place would have been really bubbling. This site is also very important historically because 
behind this uh, building lived one of our country's greatest artists and sculptor, a guy by the name of Dudley Charles, who we went to the Plaisance Government School together at that time. So he's now living in the States, but this place has got real serious history. But uh, talking about Plaisance, I got an impression that you know everybody knows you. I mean, you left Plaisance whatever number of years, uh, but still you are very, uh, you don't live here, no. your mother doesn't live here, no. your brothers, they don't live here. You know what lives here? Your heart. Our hearts. Yeah. And we are a very emotional <laughs> people. Right. And we wow. don't forget our people very easily. It's like, you know, I remember the 65 uh, enslaved Africans that bought this place and everybody in this village knows of it and we keep the history and when you read the book you'll understand uh, what it's all about our people don't we don't forget very easily good and bad Where we are, Eddie? We are at many places. You know, in, uh, in any village, you have the things that we see, like the, the, the cinemas and the places of entertainment, the Rising Sun, the Adams Dance Hall, the Prophet Dance Hall. This is one of the institutions of the village. It's, it's, 
uh, St. Paul's Anglican Church Schoolyard. Mm -hmm. This is the St. Paul's Anglican Church. And this is a part of the St. Paul's Anglican Graveyard. Very important because this is where everybody ends up ultimately in the village. So this is one of the icons of the village. When you come into the village, as you come in, it's there right there on your right. It keeps you in, in reality, you know? And these trees that you see here, they are the real stars of this village, not me. These are the stars. They've been there since the beginning of the times of slavery, and they're still there now, and they'll be there long after you are gone. Uh, <laughs> which, will be, which will be in a, one and all. Uh. <laughs> uh, you, you told me that you took the picture for the, for the, for the sleeves of the album uh, here. Yes. It's important uh, because, as I said to you just now, it's one of the few things that will remain in 100 or 200 years' time. People can come from any part of the world who want to come to my village to see where I was born, if they're interested, or whatever it is. And the one thing that I can guarantee will be there will be these trees, you know? So hence, we made that as the focus of the, of the, the cover. I see. Honestly, when, when, you, when you come here, uh, what, what, are, what are your feelings? I mean... Uh... You have no idea. This is where my navel string was is buried. And it has uh, a really, really special... Uh, feeling to me, this piece of earth. I mean, Guyana is great. Guyana has many beautiful things and many great heroes. Plaisance has its own heroes. And it is those people who formed me. Every time you hear me writing or talking about this village, it is because of the people, the many people, the many races that formed me, that enabled me to understand who I am and who my ancestors were, and so on and so forth. So Plaisance, to me, is everything. And I see everything through Plaisance. I was educated here first. Thanks to you, Mr. Grant. <laughs> Thanks to you, Mr. Cricket. <laughs> Welcome to Guyana. When you leave and you're gone down low, I will always love you. I want everybody to know, girl, I will always love you. Seem a little different tonight, I will always love you. You're a little deep and you seem uptight.
loves you when you're horny? Who loves you when you cry? Who loves you big when it's heavy? I'm the one. I'm the one